Scott Levy, did you like working with Raven as your manager? Johnny I Polo. I didn't get along good with him. Mm -hmm. I, he was just uh, he was a guy that was a little uh, out of respect and control. He, he had a bad reputation. Um, I don't know. I just I don't like the kind of guys that have, don't have respect for people. <laughs> it's just we go to a tanning salon. I'll never forget this. I got in Nashville, Tennessee, and my brother Raymond and I go to get tanned. And we'd always do this. We'd come in and say, hi, we're with the WWF, you know, and this. And, and if you give me a T-shirt, you know, <laughs> I'll wear it on my interviews, you know, and shit. And we came in that time, and and, and uh, hi, we're with the WWF. Oh, yeah? Goodbye. And I was like, well, ma'am, what do you mean? Please. And, I, and then finally she told us a story of him that just came before, and the way he came, it was like, Jesus. Maybe he thinks he's something special, you know. I, I didn't like the way he was presenting himself to places, so so I never particularly, uh, I never particularly uh, rode with him or hung around with him. Well, as far as the locker room, was it very competitive as far as egos and stuff like that, or was everybody pretty much, you know? Uh, you're gonna have some fun. Now. You're gonna come digging in the dirt. Now. Huh. Well, let me tell it to you this way: the uh, the French were not very well received or liked, and uh, I always remember. Uh, um, I'll try to hold my words to about, among, about Brutus Beefcake, but uh, uh, didn't know how to wrestle, didn't know how to do nothing, but uh, had the connections and uh, complained in the dressing room to the bosses that uh, we were speaking French. And uh, it was like, uh, uh, hey, Raymond, can I have the towel? Or, or this, and, but my native language is French. So, and, and, but the jealousy that was... Uh, uh, the cliques in the dressing rooms. The, uh, the there was a lot of money involved, and, and I always said to myself, and even when I went into small territories before the WWF, I always knew that when I walked in a territory, somebody had to walk out, and uh, and, 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 and that's the bottom line. And and, and and when you have friends and you travel with guys, and you hear a long time ahead of time, a month, two months, and hey, this guy's coming in. Uh oh, the last guy in the bottom of the card starting to be worried. So a lot of the guys would kind of make it hard for the new guy coming in just to hopefully he'll crack or break or uh, like a few guys in the WWF I'd seen happen out back Jack and uh, huh. and Honky Tonk Man. Uh, I've seen some guys break down bad. And uh, But uh, anyway, it's uh, it's not easy when you have up in the, uh, the salaries they have today and everybody, there's, there's so much at stake. Uh, it's, it's a wild and crazy business, let me tell you that.